teacher. Noun. Teacher. Plural noun teachers. A, per a person or thing that teaches, especially in a school. Synonyms are educator, tutor, instructor, master. So I don't, I don't know how I feel about the word master per se, um, because I, I think in some ways our students are, are, are masters in a way, not just master, mistress. Oh, I never heard that one. And mistress, mister, mistress. Huh. Yeah, the whole mistress one, that one stood out. I mean because that has a different connotation depending on Mistress, governess, educationist, preceptor, coach. That is what I am doing. <laughs> Trainer, also what I'm doing. Lecture, professor, more like lecture, not so much professor. Don, guide, mentor. Mentor, that's one of my favorites. Being a mentor to the students. Mentor, guru, I like that one. Guru, I like that word, guru. Guru. That makes me feel special. Trendy. Trainer. Master and mistress. School marm or school ma'am. Oh, oh. Um, school marms? School marm? School marm. Oh no, the way it said is school ma'am. And I guess it also means to teach in the formal sense, to be a pedagogue in the informal sense. The new physics teacher used to be a nun. <laughs> okay. Experience is a good teacher. Ex oh, okay, I get that one. Experience is a good teacher. Oh, that's funny because physics is my favorite subject. This is physics. I'm so happy about that. A teacher is really somebody that inspires, which is none, none of these on this list. I don't know that I like the synonyms. I think that's uh, a very wordy and unnecessary definition. So how would you define a teacher? I define a teacher as someone who cares about children and wants to change their, their daily lives while um, constantly learning and, and growing themselves as a, and in their endeavors to do that. So a teacher to me is, is, is someone who changes the world. And that's what I think makes the best teacher is somebody who can build relationships with students because I think that's where that's where teaching the rubber meets the road in teaching is when you can connect with students, connect with they bring with them to the classroom and then inspire them to learn more. So to me, the definition of a great teacher is someone who is self-aware and through their self-awareness is able to become aware of the needs, culture, um, direction that their students will go into. With being able to connect different worlds, uh, so teachers should be able to connect the world of the school to the world at home, to the world in the future that we hope that they occupy. When, when I think of a teacher, it's, it's someone who wears many hats. So you are preparing students again, not just for their star tests at the end of the of the year tomorrow gets to prepare them really for life. Um, because I feel like as teachers, one of our jobs is to prepare students for not just future years in school, but for their life in general. So I like to prepare. But somebody that knows the kids well and knows them where their strengths, where their weaknesses are, where they're going to falter, and you're able to guide them. Because it's not only about school, it's not only about them physically learning, but what they're going to take on into the future and how they're going to develop as human beings. As someone who is dedicated to um, giving back to the lives of others, so especially not only the students, but the families that come with the students. So to me, a teacher is an individual who leads by example. Um, good teachers are themselves teachable, and we need to model that for the kids. I to find an educator as a caregiver, um, first and foremost, we ensure that students are safe and successful. A teacher is someone who's a lifelong learner. I'm not the only teacher in the room. I have 20 to 23, 24 other teachers in the room with me. And I learn something from them every day. I learned, I learned that a woman's heart beats faster than a man's because of its size, because a third grader told me so. 
make a coach also, not just a basketball coach, but somebody that coaches you to become a lifelong learner. Okay, well, coach, I mean, coach and teacher, I see as the same thing that a mentor, um, a guide, along with a role model. You have to carry yourself with some type of self-confidence. I think a good definition of a teacher is somebody who's willing to do whatever it takes. You gotta be really patient. Patience. <laughs> lots and lots of patience. I really like that to hear. I like mentor. This one. You're not there to be like, listen to me, this is what you need to do. I'm the authority, you're more there like, how can I help you be you? I think they have to be caring, they have to be understanding and flexible. Um, that's probably one of the most important things. A facilitator, an educator. I think a teacher should be compassionate, friendly, responsible, hardworking, motivation. You yourself, you have to be motivated to be a teacher because if you don't know what it feels like to be motivated and you don't have that drive, how are you going to show kids that they need to be motivated as well? Truthful and honest with students, um, patient, um, liable and loving and guidance or a guider. Um, because it's not only about school, it's not only about them physically learning, but what they're going to take on into the future and how they're going to develop as human beings and grow up to be. Extremely nervous, extremely nervous, but satisfied with the outcome. When I taught my very first lesson, I was definitely nervous, <laughs> um, but just seeing the students engaged and participating and super excited to have me teach the lesson and then seeing that they caught on and they understood the material I was just very like wow this was eye-opening maybe this is the correct path and reassurance for me that I definitely want to teach. I was really nervous and I was like I was gonna cry and I was like oh my gosh like I was over I was overreacting but like I grew with it I grew to know the kids a little bit more through that lesson and they actually they contributed a lot more than I thought they were. Honestly, I was a little nervous, but to me the trick to combat nervousness is being prepared and just really loving what you do. Because if you love what you do, then the kids can sense that and they're gonna love it too. So for me, what inspired me to become a teacher would probably be, I have three aunts that are teachers and I just, I've always looked up to teachers and they're my role models. So um, my parents, um, my husband, of course, most importantly, has been very, very supportive. Um, and I've had some good friends in the education profession that have really been a source of um, inspiration and advice when I need it. Um, as well, my parents, my mom um, has been there for me like from the get-go. So it's, really, it's been a long time coming um, as far as graduating, but uh, here we are. Uh, I'll carry in my, my, uh, my advisor. My mommy and my daddy. <laughs> mom and dad have been I mean, my cat too. She's a, she just goes with it. to do is to read the word, the definition, and the synonyms, and feel free to insert commentary as you read. Out loud. Out loud. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll hit that word to start. <laughs> it's going to be a weird video, but... Just like taking him, little things, like taking him to the park so I can study and so um, I can get my lesson plans done. And I know my son, oh my gosh, I have a little cry. <laughs> my son, um, he supported me even though he doesn't know. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm going to all this out. <laughs> yeah, well, there's uh, tissues right there next to your family. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm missing her my makeup, I can't. Uh. The rest here or two is Okay. So what are, what are your thoughts about this definition of a teacher? You know, I wasn't thinking too much about it. Um, is this on? Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. You're okay. You're All right. Okay. Uh, okay. 
but like him, like, you know, I know he doesn't know because he's like a little baby, but um, I know, taking time away from him. <laughs> oh, important important qualities of a teacher. Important qualities of a teacher. That's a bit of big thing. Informal, teach. Formal, pedago, pedago, pedagog. I don't know how to say that. Pedago. That's how I say it. Sorry. No, no, no. It's I okay. Like, oh, that's, that's why I, I say this one for last. Okay, I know it's that's the why hard I said it's hard. Has everybody cried? <laughs> Um, we had some. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I hope it doesn't seem too bad. My face is like red. No, no, no. Okay, let me pick up myself. 